In today's episode, Janice Cole makes drama, glamour and doing good a way of life. Take on a Tabata challenge with Walter Tay and fall in love with Chef Angela May's prawn salad in miso vinaigrette. Hello, I trust the day has been treating you well. Welcome to Home Together. My name is Hosan Leong. Now, besides protecting livelihoods and transforming businesses, the Fortitude Budget also aims to support households and to build an inclusive society. Now, among the slew of measures and schemes to be implemented include accelerating the timeline for secondary school students to own digital learning devices and teaching seniors to be more tech-savvy as they navigate and explore the digital world. I'm all for constant learning, and as well as keeping myself abreast with the changes that will happen in the future. Now, my guest for today is a dear friend, and as long as I've known her, she's always been working on television, on stage, on the silver screen, and right now she's here with us. Let's say hello to Janice Ko. Hello, Janice! Hi! Hi, Jose. <laughs> Hi. Isn't it so strange to be meeting in the virtual world like that? <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> but you've been keeping yourself busy, Janice. Yourself, mm -hmm. together with Patrina Kao and Pam Wee, started Pasa Glamour. How did it all begin? So, Pasa Glamour basically started because we shop too much and we have too many clothes in our cupboards. Mm. And we needed to Marie Kondo and declutter. Um, so, basically, we decided, you know, we wanted to, rather than give it away or just donate it, we would raise some money by selling it as pre-loved clothes, all the ones that are in good condition, and then give away the money to charity. And because the late Emma Young was a good friend of ours, mm. we thought we would give it to her foundation. Um, so, that started three years ago and it was so successful that we've been doing it every year ever since and all the money goes towards helping the arts um, women and children from vulnerable disadvantaged backgrounds and this year with the whole pandemic happening you did a special edition of Pasa Glamour right we're gonna tell, tell us more about that you know, near the beginning of the year, when news about the coronavirus started up and shows were being cancelled, it became very clear to us that a lot of our colleagues working in the performing arts were going to lose jobs. Mm. Um, and it suddenly started to happen when theatres were shut down mm. and bars where musicians played, you know, had to be shut down. So we decided this year, we had already set aside some money to give to the arts. This year, we will put that money towards a, a relief fund to provide some kind of stopgap measure, you know, mm. for for practitioners working in the performing arts who needed some kind of uh, temporary um, financial relief mm. to tide them over until things become a little bit clearer as to what's going to happen. How much did we raise this uh, this round? Pasa Glamour put in twenty five thousand, and we raised enough. Uh, to make a total of 136,000. Wow, wow. And that, that, and our grants are about 500 per person. So I think, very yeah. roughly speaking, I think we can, you know, help quite a number of people. I don't have the math <laughs> at the top of my head. But we've already started the, the first round of funding yeah. and um, it's been very successful. About 85% of our applicants uh, get approved. Mm. Um, so, and uh, I think it's, you know, a very welcome relief for them. So what is the criteria though for, for the application? Basically, you just, you just have to be working in the live arts, live events arena. It could be theatre, dance and music. And we fund anyone from in front on stage. Okay. So the musicians, the performers, mm. all the way to people who are working behind the scenes as well. The so crew. makeup artists, mm. you know, producers, mm. the crew, technicians, light and sound operators. We even funded a girl pie singer. So <laughs> wow. It's, it's, it's very, very, we are very liberal. Yes. And we see performing arts in a very, you know, sort of like liberal way. As long as you're of involved, course. you know, yeah. you can apply. What about second round? You're going to go into a second round of fundraising? Looking at how the arts will probably fall under phase three of the relaxation mm. of businesses, it might mean that our theatres won't open until much later on in the year. So, so we're going to open a second round of applications because I think more people will mm. probably need financial help. Okay, that's good to hear. I'm going to show you a little poster. Um, if you look at okay. the screen. Now, look at that. <laughs> I that, remember that show. Yeah, it was called Love Puke. That was my first show I ever did with you on stage. And yeah. you 
Yeah. Terrified me. I was terrified oh, of you. Why? I was so why? scared why? of Janice Cole. Do you know when I step into rehearsals with you, right? I would be shivering, you know? My toes all would curl up in fear because you would make us do yoga. <laughs> Janice Cole can bend over backwards, her leg can go all over the place and she'll try and make us do it during rehearsals. And I was like, oh dear, I'm going to die. You know, Warm-ups to yeah, the max. Warm-ups, exactly. <laughs> and, but I must say I was thank you because you've taught me so much discipline. Um, I learned a lot from you, watching you rehearse and getting into roles and, and being backstage and all that. So thank you for that. Recently, I got tagged together with you by Petrina Kao. And I had no, okay, I have no idea why she tagged me in that Facebook post where this is guy playing with plants. To oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So yes, I have no yes. idea. Is that something uh, to do with plants? Why you? Uh? I don't because, know exactly. You know, I, have, I have a plant obsession. My house is always surrounded by some kind of greenery, but I don't have green thumbs. I, I don't have the time, especially when I'm on a project, a theatre project or a TV project, I ignore them. So, I have someone come in once a month and they, they, they take care of the plants mm -hmm. and they always tell me, Janice, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> we, put in, we put in the water system, you don't touch it because when you touch it, it will die. Oh dear. And it's, it's proven to be true. So this circuit breaker, when everything has come to a standstill and my gardener can't come anymore, yes. I'm like, okay, come on, Janice, it's yes, time. You can do it. <laughs> so I, I, I started ordering these plants online. Okay, let's see them. Let's see your plants. Let, let's see okay, okay. how uh, how they're thriving. Let me get my cameraman, yeah. my cameraman to follow me outside. Yeah. So we are about to um, have a peek into Janice's garden. I've bought a lot of these wow. plants okay. mm. literally the day before Circuit Breaker started. I, I just bought like one hundred dollars. Right. Two hundred dollars worth of plants uh, to 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 feed my obsession. So okay. here they are. There's some of them here, and there's some of them here. Do you know all their names and, or not, or you just random green only? You just buy. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm so superficial. I literally buy them for how pretty they are. So well, like yeah. I know this one. This one looks like it's got a rattlesnake name. I don't know what it's called. And <laughs> and something like this. <laughs> Look at the leaf. That's uh, arrowhead, no. Is it no, arrowhead? it's not. I don't no. know. I think it's a kind of arrowhead uh, yeah. variety. But yeah. it's a very, it's called variegated. That okay. means the leaves are not all green, it's patchy. And look at this, it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. So anyway, it's okay. my latest obsession. All right. It's really challenging me to take care. Hmm. Like how we take care of ourselves at home. Or, or try and find a routine for ourselves. Right. Uh, during this time that we are sheltering or in isolation. And the plant sort of like give me some kind of, it calms me down, okay. it gives me something to do, okay. and it's very rewarding when you see like baby, baby ones emerge. Wow. You know, like okay. baby, Little when buds baby ones start out. to come out. Mm, yeah, and you're like, oh, oh, well done, well done. It's like, you know, <laughs> giving birth. <laughs> well, thank you for showing us your plant. Well, why don't you make yourself, uh, uh, yeah. make your way back into the living room? <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Now, one burning question left. Um, if you were still an MP, what is one issue that you will fight for today? If I had to choose one right now during COVID-19, I think we really have to talk about migrant workers. I think we do. Our attitude yep. towards um, migrant, our, our foreign worker population mm. and our need to uh, embrace, accept mm. and include them in Singapore society as a whole moving forward. Exactly. I think we cannot treat them as transactional labour, no. out of sight, out of mind. No. Well yeah. So I think a lot yeah. of the issues and problems that are coming out right now is because we have sort of made them invisible for too long. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, for sure. Well, thank you so much for being with us and taking time out today. Um, please take care, love to Thanks the family. Them. And um, I hope to see you real soon. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, stay tuned because after the break, Walter Tay will keep us fit. This is a great workout if you do not have time and looking for a quick pump. Never stray too far from home. Never stray too far from home. Welcome back. 
Have you ever wondered what you can achieve in four minutes? Hmm, quite a lot actually, especially if you commit yourself to this high-intensity interval training workout which helps you build your muscles and aerobic system wholeheartedly. Let's join fitness buff Walter Tay as he takes you on a four-minute fat-burning Tabata and you better work. Hi, I'm Walter and today we are going to put our bodies to the test with this workout. This is a great workout if you do not have time and looking for a quick pump. We're going to do seven exercises back to back. I'm going to start a warm up with my favorite exercise, jumping jack. And let's go. Stretch high. Rep by rep, pump up the heart rate. Use up your joints. Make sure you warm up properly for this whole workout. For the next six exercises, we're going to shuffle between our upper body and lower body and our core. So warm it up now. The next six exercises are not going to be easy. If you need to rest, please do so. And time. All right, next we're going to hit our shoulders with tight push-ups. Let's get onto the floor. Palms shoulder width apart, legs straight, back straight, and the sand. Push. 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 This is a killer move for your shoulders. Make sure you breathe well. Exhale when you come up. And time. Okay, next we're gonna hit our legs with squats. Upper body, hips upright, and squat down. Control on the way down, pump it up. If you need to take a break along the way, please do so. Now it's the third exercise. We still have four more to go. Remember to breathe well. Make every rep count. And time. Next will be an intense one, mountain climbers. Bring your knees up and alternate. Time to work our core. And go. Keep your core tight. If you can, bring up the tempo. Go for as many reps as possible. Remember, breathe. If you need to take a break, go ahead and do so. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And time. Stay low. Next, we are going to hit our chest with archer push-ups. Arms wide open and lean onto one side. Keep your supporting arm as straight as possible. Push it up. This is a tough one. And if you cannot manage, put your knees on the floor like so. And go. Getting really intense. Keep it there. It's gonna be over soon. Right, and time. Get up. If you're still following along, you're a champ. Next, we're gonna hit our lower body with lunges. Step forward with your forward leg 90 degree, and then your other leg as slow as possible. Come back up, switch leg like so. Remember to breathe. We have two more exercises. Let's go for as many reps as we can. You will feel the burn in your thighs, your hamstring. And 
time. Last exercise, my favorite exercise, burpees. A great overall exercise that work your upper body, lower body, and your posterior chain all at the same time. So let's get into it. All right. Last exercise, keep going. But remember to breathe. So if you're looking to challenge yourself, you can do a push-up at the end and finish off with a jump, like so. And time! Great job on completing this intense workout. I really hope that you have gained something from all the workouts I've been showing you. Always remember to stay healthy and know the drill. Make exercise a way of life, love it, embrace it, and have fun. Phew, that sure looks like the longest four minute exercise that I could ever endure. So as you catch your breath, we'll go for a quick break, but don't go away because when we come back, you'll be rewarded with Chef Angela May's prawn salad and miso vinaigrette. Hey, welcome back. You may beg to defer, but I think a bowl of salad is never quite complete without the accompaniment of a good dressing. And the best part is you can always make your own dressing fast and easy. Our celebrity chef for today will show you just how you can create your own miso vinaigrette, which goes divinely perfect with prawn salad. Take it away, Angela May. Hi everyone, I am Chef Angela May, and I hope that you are all safe and healthy. Now as we start to ease up and be able to leave our house a little bit for people that actually can, we need to make sure that we really keep our immune systems nice and strong and healthy. And so today we're gonna be doing this beautiful, vibrant, colorful salad that's super easy to put together. And you could actually put this together with other ingredients that you have laying around in your fridge. Just try and clear everything out and eat all of your colors with all of these beautiful nutrients. We're gonna be making a prawn salad that has a miso vinaigrette. So once you get your miso vinaigrette down, you can experiment with a bunch of other things in your salad. The hands-on cooking time for this is super fast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mask up before we get started. So I wanna go ahead and preheat my pan just a little bit before I add in my oil. Okay, now my pan is quite hot. I'm just gonna add a bit of olive oil. Lovely. And to that, I'm just gonna add some beautiful prawns. And these only need a couple of minutes per side for the prawns. They're gonna cook really, really fast. Very, very delicate and tender. Just gonna take them out of the hot pan and then just put them on a plate and save them for later. So they're just gonna sit there while we go ahead and we make our miso vinaigrette. So for the vinaigrette, I'm gonna go ahead and take our miso. This is about 50 grams of miso paste about 10 grams of soy. And this is about 10 of the vinegar. And this is about five of the sesame oil. 10 for the brown sugar. And then this is the juice of two limes. I'm not gonna put all of it in yet. I wanna go ahead and make sure it's not too tart. black pepper, and olive oil, oh yeah. And to that, I have just about a knob of ginger here, and I just wanna freshly grate some ginger into this. That's gonna give it a nice kind of like spicy kick. If you'd like to weigh, that's about 20 grams of ginger. Okay, now I'm just gonna start breaking this down. So just keep whisking and making emulsification. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna start building my salad. So this is about 200 grams of cabbage. Just using a lot of things that I found in my fridge, just all these beautiful, vibrant colors that I wanna to mix together. edamame because I always have edamame in my freezer. Let's look at those colors. That's so gorgeous. And then these nice sweet chilies. Oh, those colors make me feel healthier right already. So I'm gonna dress my salad, but I'm gonna reserve a bit of my dressing just for, to go over the prawns. Now this is a giant monster salad full of all these beautiful colors. I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna plate this part of my salad and reserve the rest of this in the fridge. And that's gonna be a snack for later. Gorgeous prawns. And just a little bit of miso on each of those. And then some fresh mint leaves as well. Just a beautiful, fresh, gorgeous salad. This looks so incredibly healthy and kind of just like revitalizing. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. Mmm, super crunchy and fresh. All these beautiful colors, just getting all of that nutrients into my body it just feels so good and so healthy. I cannot wait to chow down on this entire plate, which would probably feed an entire army. I hope you're all staying healthy out there, Singapore. As we gradually resume our regular activities and safety measures are relaxed, let us not forget to maintain the good personal hygiene practices which we have been embracing all this while. Wash your hands with soap or use hand sanitizers regularly before and after eating. Remember to wash your hands after touching grab poles and bars and handles in public spaces. And don't forget to throw used tissues, masks and all litter into trash bins. I'm Hosea Leong and I'd love to see you again tomorrow on Home Together. Cause home is new.